we from um southeast uh Washington DC, um Minnesota Avenue section. Okay. How is that uh area over there coming up for y'all? <laughs> uh man, you know, like anywhere else, you know, some people had a rough rough, some people didn't. You okay. know. All right. Anybody else? Well, you know, I mean action speed loud in the words, right. you know. So we had to action. Okay. You know? Well my man Rasheed. <laughs> I mean, uh, 34th Minnesota Avenue is our neighborhood. That's where we uh, grew up at. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people came from our neighborhood, like Stacy Lattisor, oh, yeah? Johnny Gill, uh, Prophet Jones. Mm -hmm. So we, we, you know, it's rich. It's a rich. I got history. History is history. rich, yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? We still talk to those people. Like uh, right. Stacy Lattisor's brother, he's still, you know, with us. On, he signed with uh, Def Jam. So, okay. so, I mean, the neighborhood is rich and mm -hmm. it's history in that hood. So. Okay. You know. So when did y'all first decided to get into music? Um, I started, uh, we started a go-go band back in 91. Uh, mm -hmm. We was like, we, I mean, we can claim as being one of the youngest go-go bands ever. We was 12, 11. Right. I mean, really playing chords and everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's what started it, you right. know. Guys like uh, Stinkin' Ink, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He uh, paved the way for me as far as influenced us with the music, you right. know, and I, I like average people from, like from New York City probably looked at uh, uh, Rock Kim. I looked right. at Stinky Dink and right. Fat Rodney and uh, Ronnie T and all those guys in the past, you know. Old go go Old go go rappers, yeah. you, know? Mm -hmm. you know. What about you, Charles? Uh, man, I just love music, man, mm -hmm. you know. I wasn't never, never in a band or anything, and my family could rap, so I got behind. Them. Right. Tom? Hey, I'm real. Well, you know, I grew up listening to Go Go. Mm -hmm. I like Go Go. You know, Red Essence, Backyard, Raw Image, you know, all the up and coming bands. I just like Go Go music. Okay. I have a love for music, man. All right. And I'm, since we're talking about Go Go, then there's like an imbalance here in DC with Go Go and hip hop. Now, can we separate the two, or can we create. Is the music all in one? Uh, the history of Go Go, actually, a lot of guys. Uh, like was the was the music for rappers back right. in the 70s you know mm -hmm. Curtis Blow used to take uh trouble funk samples and right. stuff so you know the history of go-go it, 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 it's, it's they together you know mm -hmm. but uh, our plans is you know to 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 give a foundation like similar to a Master P or a, a Jay-Z where we have a, we have control of what the industry wants right. so once we once we do that we're going to take rap with us and then we're going to use go-go next after we mm -hmm. establish us as being one of the great cities far as music in the industry see the problem with the city is a lot of business right. they don't mm -hmm. know how to balance business with mm -hmm. with talent okay it has to be both business and talent without the two you have nothing you know so that's what we here for okay now how's y'all sound? Is it more hip hop or is it go go? Our sound is more hip hop or more rap, you know. Okay. You know, you so know. a little bit of both though. I yeah, yeah. Think. It, it has <laughs> some go go it. to it, <laughs> yeah. but it's not a. It, we don't. We you know we we're not trying to bring it there yet. Mm -hmm. We gonna give it to them, but okay. it's you know what I'm saying. We gonna get them. You know, it's when we blow up and have that foundation, they'll feel it. Okay. We gonna bring the go go with it. Right. So let me ask you brothers this, man. And you know, Go-Go is big here in the city, and it's kind of blowing up in the industry as well. They're taking the beats as well. So why hasn't a group from D.C., like a Backyard, a Rare Essence, and even Chuck Brown, who's somewhat out there, but why haven't they really gone mainstream? I had a conversation when I, one time I went to a, a, a magazine party. It got Brady from uh, Rare Essence. Mm -hmm. And he discussed that out of most of the bands, they were never incorporated, right. or never had a, a foundation backing them far as getting incorporated, doing the business thing with it. So I was that was very interesting me coming from Brady, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying the manager of Red Essence, and uh, I took that in consideration, like you know what, we gonna have to build a have be more business orientated mm -hmm. in the city. Everybody, go go hip hop, poetry. Uh, acting or whatever art you in, you know, right. you have to be more business oriented. Okay. Exactly. Now, why would y'all want to go into hip hop being from DC? You don't get support <coughs> from the radio stations, you know, you don't get support from the industry, and you also don't, you don't get support from the locals here. So yeah. why do music in DC? You know what? 
I it's, think it's, it's more so that that that's the outlet right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is using it, so why can't we use it? Right, yeah. you know, yeah. like, that's and the main all, outlet. And also, the reason why I think the support's not coming from a lot of, uh, as far as hip hop artists, plain and simple, a lot of them just not not capable of being industry quality. Right, keeping it real, we can't blame the industry for not letting us in mm -hmm. because. A lot of the stuff I'm hearing is garbage, plain and simple. <laughs> we gonna have to, we gonna set the bar, step the bar up, and bring the quality to right. the table. That's only that's plain and simple. There's no excuses. Okay. Bring the quality. But also, man, people in the city just don't want to stick together. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I hear that a lot. <clears throat> everywhere else, they 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 willing to stick together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and here, this everybody want to do their own thing. They don't want to put they put their head together, man, and, and, and blow. And that's yeah. that's what's holding us back, yeah. you know? Right, so right. that's the biggest problem. Okay. And we got other guys out there. You got top producers from D.C. You got uh, Chucky Thompson, Rich Harrison, uh, Chink Santana. Now, are you seeing these guys coming back and grabbing any uh, D.C. artists? No. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. Like, like, like he was saying, <laughs> the music here is... is I mean, don't get me wrong. It's 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 a lot of good artists here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bad bad talk nobody, right? Mm -hmm. right. But it's just that man. It's a lot of stuff. Here. They looking at it like it's not worth it, yeah. right? You know, and yeah, until some until like these guys step up, man, and and work together and 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 you know do something yeah. right, then the they not gonna come back. Something. Yeah, yeah they not gonna come back. I don't back. blame them for not coming back. Mm -hmm. Only time when you come back, you go with raw talent, okay. talent with business. You got to have the balance. And so. It's not there. It, I mean, I wouldn't come back to garbage. I'm here. And I'll go for the best ones. You know what I'm saying? Look around for the best rappers, and then take those guys. There's a lot of guys out here, man. I understand you heard Jay Z on a song, and you say, "Damn, I want to rap today." Mm -hmm. But man, we've been doing this since we was babies. Okay. So we put the time and the effort into it. So, okay. you know what I'm saying? If they come back, they do. I mean, you know, we've been keeping the best secret. You know what I'm saying? When we gonna bring it, we gonna bring it. So. All right. When he hears us, he probably gonna want to come back to us. I know that. <laughs> right. And he ain't heard it because yeah. we ain't want him to hear yeah. it right okay. now. And you got other major cities. Uh, you got Houston. They have a movement right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. You know, L.A. and New York has always been dominant in right. uh, hip hop. Uh, Miami, right. New Orleans. Right. Do you ever think DC? I mean, we always talk about it, but do you really think DC is going to make it's it to that level right yeah. now? Yeah, I hope. Is, it. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah. It's like this. Man, uh, that's what I say, man. We gonna set the bar. I'm telling you, 2006, when the industry is, they gonna be like, where these dudes was at? Mm -hmm. where, where were they at? <laughs> man, we was in the cut, man, building. Okay. And we the whole the DC cut. coming with us. They coming with us. They coming with us. We all gonna get together. Yeah. We got a plan. We not afraid to uh, <laughs> to put our heads with somebody else, man. Make right. make Showing accomplish up. something. Showing you know? up, especially if they tight, though. Okay. We do go off a talent now. If you weak. We not collaborate nothing with right. you, but if you right. tight and you nice, mm -hmm. man, we gonna link up and we gonna get rich together. Okay, now explain to me. I mean, what does it take to become a powerhouse in music, man? I mean, tell me a little bit about the background. Okay, uh, basically, first to be a powerhouse, you have to be incorporated. Mm -hmm. Dirty Columbian is incorporated. Dirty Columbian Limited Liability Company. Right. We are incorporated. You have to learn about the business side of royalties. Mm -hmm. You have to learn about publishing. Right. Okay. You have to learn about the same thing as ASCAP dealing mm -hmm. with that. And that's what it takes to be a powerhouse first. Then, second, you have to focus on the music. Right. Man, if it's weak to you, if, if you don't listen to it, it's not tight. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if, if you listen to it and you know you can compare it. How, see, we compete with Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. We compete with Nas. We compete with Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? We compete with the, the, the industry. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's what it takes to be a powerhouse. Okay. But also you gotta put in the leg work the yeah. to, to get out there. You right. know what I'm saying? You gotta right. do the promotional thing. You know, right. you, you, you just can't you go to the studio yeah. and, and keep making songs and whatever. Yeah. Nobody gonna hear you. You yeah. gotta get out there, you gotta go to these open mics. Yep. You gotta go to the, um these television shows, you gotta do videos and the whole nine. Okay. You know, for a long time we we wasn't doing all that, but now this year we started. Right, yeah, yeah. And things died looking up for us. Okay. Put God first in your life. Yeah, I mean, Always. basically yeah. what we did was focus on the foundational things first before we came out. You know what I'm saying? We focused on 
getting the talent wrong, making sure the talent is right. Mm -hmm. We was like, we're not coming out with nothing to every song. If I bring out 17 songs, all 17 of them are going to rock. Right. You ain't going to skip one song. Because our CD post has been out there. But like every keep, time we go to the studio, man, it's like we get a better song. Yeah, so a better song. Like right now, I mean, we, it's on hold. We done done over 60 tracks, okay. you know what I'm saying, within two years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me and my cousin always go on the computer all the time and just skim it through tracks. But we go with the best, you know okay. what I'm saying? And we talked about support, right, from D.C. Now, the area that y'all are from, uh, the 34th from Minnesota Avenue area, do y'all get support from... The guys in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's funny, I, when we first met was through mm -hmm. the video shoot. Right. I, you seen probably at least 200 people out right. there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, we spent money on the work, man, mm -hmm. you know? The work was, was, you know what I'm saying? You see the cameras, we had the jibs, mm -hmm. we had the whole nine. So once they saw that, you know right. what I'm saying? They knew we were serious and right. they had no choice but to take it serious. And plus, they love the music. The mm -hmm. music, I, only the hood hearing the music right now until it's time to bring out the, the CD, you okay. know what I'm saying, for the, for, the, for the city. Right. But the hood right now knows what, we, what we're doing. They support us 110%. Okay. Big Charles, man. Yeah. How you feel about y'all music, man? I love it, you know. I mean, if I didn't, I wouldn't be involved. Okay. You know, this is not going to just put, it, put, it, put you all into something that you know it's not going to make it anywhere. Right. So that's a waste of time. What about you, Tom? Honestly, I didn't like rap. Okay. You know, I was always go go. I liked to dance and all that. You know, and um, once I heard my cousins rap, you know, I was like, <laughs> this is it right, right here. You know, what I'm saying they sound just like everybody else on TV. You know, mm -hmm. so I got interested in it, and here I am today. Okay. All right. We talking to Dirty Columbian Entertainment. This is Alexander Mosby. I'm your host of The Life and Times. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. When I found out my jeans were made using child labor and sweatshops, I wrote a letter to the company saying, reconsider your labor practices. A few months later, I got a letter back saying, thanks for being a loyal customer, and they included a coupon for a 25% discount on their jeans. So I got smart, wrote letters every day to all the stores that carry the brand, asking them to stop supporting the companies who use child labor and sweatshops. And I just kept getting letters back, thanking me for my concerns, and more coupons for more discounts on more jeans. So I'm telling my friend about it, and she flips out, saying that between all the letters and coupons, some paper company cut down a small forest driving off two indigenous tribes, hundreds of endangered animals, killing thousands of plant species, some of which may have contained vaccines for HIV, cancer, and syphilis. Meanwhile, the guys cutting down the trees are 13-year-old kids who will work night and day for months just to save up enough money to buy a pair of jeans made by child labor in sweatshops. The table make more of the bricks. I'm sick. I do it for the love of the chips. They see me cop a six and throw dubs on a whip. It's true. I watch this game from many angles. That's why I sense that I walk with angels and smiling is so painful. The game moves at a faster pace. Hey y'all, welcome to the Life and Times. I'm your host, Camilla, and I'm here with Dirty Columbia Entertainment. Welcome. How y'all doing today? Good. I'm glad to have y'all with us. Could y'all introduce yourselves? KB, knockout boy. And this young real. He that amazing. Kill Bill. G Mac and Love. Okay, now where are y'all repping? What part of DC? Southeast, 34th in Minnesota. Southeast, okay, okay. How long y'all been in the game? Years. How many years? 98, okay. Now we talked about some of the difficulty with you know being in the game in DC. What keeps you committed? What what do you get out of being in the rap game? So much? <laughs> Again, one more time. The thirst for success. The thirst for success. And there you have it. Setting the bar, we have Dirty Columbian Entertainment. What are y'all gonna be performing for us today? Dope boys. Okay, here we are. Dirty Columbia Entertainment. Thank you.
Some nice on them tracks that mean the beats up with me. Keep up with me, love of getting it. How to get us, get it. Addicted to the game, to the streets, I'm committed. The impossible did it. Hood gospel spit it. I ain't God, but I'm so damn sick with it. We ain't no killers, but don't push us. Revenge is like the sweetest joy to a dwarf pusher. We on the move, we them dudes that make a move. Baby, one falls move, and them things gon' move. We make them things move. They coming for my head. I got enough scars on my legs. With all that said, should I walk around scared? Nah, I should walk around prepared. Cause it's itching to catch me slipping, but my transmission running strong. I couldn't wait to the day that Mooch was coming home. Was like 96 then, I was cutting up. It's like 06 now, and I'm still cutting up. But I ain't acting up, just cutting the guy up, lost the I rock, and I'm trying to pull the lock up, I play the field, trying to double the dough, so it's only right that young real hustle and flow, and I keep it real when I hustle and flow, you know, we ain't no killers, but don't push us, revenge is like the sweetest joy to a dwarf pusher, we on the move, we them dudes that make a move, baby, one falls move, and them things gon' move, we make them things move, it's Kill Bill and I'm still pushing quark, man But them DCE n****s was like sell both, man I told them I'm already a dough man And the is just for I can smoke, man Trey Four got keys, try getting them doughs, man 35th got cheese, be damn if they broke, man Hey, she, this time next year, yeah you already know we gon' be dope, man. Hey, so getting gon' walk up, they gon' be like, oh man. Fat C had a up and now she getting low, man. I had a and Drew kept a foe, man. Back in '98, I still had dough, man. Now in '06, they calling me the dough man, dough man, the motherfucking dough man. We ain't no killers, but don't push us. Revenge is like the sweetest joy to a dwarf pusher. We on the move. We them dudes that make a move. Baby, one falls move, and them things gon' move. We make them things move. We show you to ride around with all the boys. We make them things move. Hey, pretty Rick, and show you to ride around with all the Hey, dope boys, grinding for all the bigger back 24. Come on. With, what's good for is this the wrong mic? 
What's good for Dirty Columbia Entertainment in 06? Tell me, tell me what we can look forward to seeing from y'all in 2006. That. Miracle on 34th Street coming in soon, spring of 06. Okay, okay, Miracle on 31st Street. 34th Street, you heard it here. Dirty Columbia Entertainment, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Life and Times. Camilla, peace. I let the willies go back to the table, make more of the bricks. I'm sick. I do it for the love of the chips. They see me cop a six and throw dubs on a whip. It's true. I watch this game from many angles. That's why I What's up, what's up? I'm Alexander Mosley. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in, you missed the performance by Dirty Columbian Entertainment, uh, Dope Boys. And I'm back with the CEOs and manager, Rashid, Charles, and Tony. So, once again, man, what do y'all expect to do with y'all music? Uh, we we looking to get a, a looking for a distribution deal, you know. Uh, first, we trying to make sure we get our barcode, you know, mm -hmm. uh, make sure we handle that. So, uh, the industry can keep account of how many units we move in. You know, that way, that's like a resume, basically, right. for how well you can move units. Right. Also, I want to clarify what I said earlier was, DC's not totally, I don't, what I mean, not garbage, I'm right. not saying every rap out here can't rap. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I clarify, because I do want the youngest to have hope in, in the future and say that I can be like those guys, because right. it's positive, so, I mean, practice make perfect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, practice, yeah. you know, practice. So I'm not saying everybody's garbage, but we all got to set the bar. We all got to step up to the game plate. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what I meant by that. I didn't mean that everybody, every other record label is worse than us or whatever. Right. I'm just saying that to be industry bound, we all got to be hard on ourselves right. in the city. Okay. Now, Tom, what's your title, man, a Dirty <laughs> Columbian, man? Man, I'm the public relations director, man. Okay, and tell I, me a little bit about that. I mean, I, I I go out, I try to get the shows, you know, make sure my artists happy, you know, everybody crying about, you know, certain situations and stuff, right. but we going to get everything together, man. We're taking okay. one step at a time, man. All right. And, and Charles, man. what about you, man? What's you? <laughs> uh, I'm co-CEO. All right. Now, tell me a little bit about the description, man, some of the day-to-day -day things you got to do, man, the CEO. Like, basically, like, Make, stand on top of him, making sure like the, <laughs> the, the shows and everything, yep, yep. and also like trying to keep the uh, artists happy or whatever, and handling stuff like, you know, like the like the the promotional part, really like okay. the footwork. And my man, you know, he he the, he, the, he, the, he you know the um, yeah the, the, yeah, the okay. paper he, the, he yeah. handled the paperwork. Now going into business for y'all self and music, do y'all do y'all like it? Or I mean, was ever the time when y'all was like, man, I want to get up out of this. It's too stressful. I mean, we we feel like that sometimes, you know. But overall, we know that man, if 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 everybody could do it, it'd be a it'd be everybody be rich right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we know it's hard work. So you know, it's not for everybody. Okay. So so that's what that's what motivates me personally is that it's hard. Okay. So anything's hard, you know what I'm saying? That's when it, the benefits are our way, you know, greater. You right. know? So so I don't mind the, the hard work. You know okay. what I'm saying? I've been working hard all my life. All yeah. right. Yeah. Now, Tone, you said you like a uh, go go more than rap, right? Yeah. Um, you think y'all gonna do some collaborations with oh, some go go definitely. band? Who would y'all like to work with? We like to work with anybody that's willing to work with us. Okay. You know, we're going to work with anybody that's willing, ready to work with us. You All know, right. they mm -hmm. open, we, we got open mind to everything. Sure right. enough, you know, though, yeah. the door is open. Okay. You Much know, love on that go go side. Yeah, we're going to bring that out. That's going to come. All right. Now, yeah. since you deal with public relations, man, uh, somebody in the industry y'all could work with, who would you go out there and try to, you know, get a song done with the well, company or. Um, you know, we're going to try to work with Red Essence, Backyard, and, and Roy Emmons. Okay. You know? We're going to work with them three, and then whatever come after that, you know, right. the door is open. Okay. And you is know? there anybody in the hip-hop world that y'all would like to uh, do some we, music with? We wouldn't work with anybody, Okay. you know. Anybody that want to work <laughs> with us, anybody want to give us a chance, we're going to work with them. All right. You know, we, we open. Okay. Yeah, we work with you as long as we ain't got to pay to work with you. All right. <laughs> now give me some words of wisdom, man, for some guys out there that's probably in the same situation Put as y'all. Put God in your life first. Okay. That's the word yeah. That's the only wisdom you need. All right. You put God in your life first. Mm. If you can do that, you ain't got nothing else to Number worry one. about. Yeah, okay. that's it and that's all. What about you, Rasheed? Man, uh, study, 
If you if you in the business, learn the business first. Get the books. Go go to the library. They have plenty of books on the music business. Get ASCAP. If you a rapper or a writer, get ASCAP. Get your publishing, man, so you can get your royalty money. You know what I'm saying? So, cause cause that's the first thing they gonna ask you is, are you ASCAP or BMI? Right. Guess what? If you're not, they gonna laugh at you because they gonna screw you over, basically. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. But but learn the business. What about you, Big Charles? You just got man. Stick with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused and just don't let nothing get to you. All right. All right. And it seems like we out of time. I'm Alexander Mosby. This is my show, The Life and Times. I'm talking to Dirty Colombian Entertainment, Rashid, my man Charles, and my man Tony up over there. I want to thank y'all for watching, and I want to say I am entertainment.